And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zoe Talia. This is going to be our first Talia deck that we're going to try out. We're going to pair it with Targon also. This is going to be our first time pairing Sharima and Targon together. Uh, we have some really good landmarks in the two regions and Targon has a new landmark uh, star tipped peak here that count with countdown two and then create two random celestial cards that cost three or less in hand. Um, you know, Zoe really likes celestial cards for sure and just cards with different names. So this, this could be an exciting landmark to try out. And of course, we know that Targon has the Veil Temple, a very strong landmark, getting that extra mana and buffing up our allies. So Talia's in here, um, able to summon the exact copy of an allied landmark. So you can get an additional Veil Temple or Star Tip Peak or any of these other ones. If you want to draw some cards, Pres Preservarium. We got Ancient Preparations to get um, some some tutus. Um, but even Ancient Hourglass. I love this card. This is such a great protection spell. And if you're able to like Ancient Hourglass a Zoe, um, what this does is, you know, you get the um, the Stasis statue that gets you the exact copy of the unit that you replace. And so you can use this as a perfect protection spell for Zoe. Because like, let's say your Zoe's at like five out of 10, right? It's like halfway to leveling up. You can Ancient Hourglass it and remove it and, you know, protect it, like whenever they're going to use whatever to get rid of it. And then whenever it comes back, it's going to be 5 out of 10 still. So it's going to be um, still going to be close to leveling up. And if you if you're even uh, if you can do it on like turn five, you can Ancient Hourglass your Zoe. You can Talia get an exact copy of the um, the Stasis statue and then you can get two zoe's in play they would both be you know five out of ten or whatever that could be kind of cool i don't know that could be something we could do in life but yeah we're just gonna go ahead and, and try this out we got siphoning strike one of my favorite cards from the set to be able to grow our champions um desert naturalist can turn some of these landmarks if you know sometimes we're just going to need some five fours right and so like desert naturalist can get us some five fours plus opponents are going to be playing landmarks that are super strong so we can uh, destroy those as well so here we go zoe talia should be a lot of fun. Ooh. Azir Darius. This is a pretty aggressive metagame. Our deck's going to be one that's really built around a lot of value and late game abilities. So we'll have to see if we can survive long enough. Kind of want to keep the Siphoning Strike. Yeah, I mean, I already got like one drop, two drop. I'm just going to keep it. It's a good spell. Yeah, this card is so aggressive. Doomkeeper. Uh, let's get a Zoe. Oh, I guess I should play the Zoe first for the 10 cards. I wanted to play this to see if they like spend their mana and then not have mana to be able to kill my Zoe. Um... I guess Basie Sketcher? Yeah. I just want the one mana card. We'll uh, discard Super Cool Star Chart to Spacey Sketcher. It seems like this is going to just be a really fast game. <laughs> okay. And I could do this and go to 9 instead of 10 and keep a 2-1 alive. Yeah, like we'll we'll just copy this Roiling Sands, I guess. It's not the best landmark to copy. Keep your eyes on the horizon and your feet on the ground. Four may 
Jackson, reporting for duty. The desert likes you. For the glory of Noxus. Ouch. <laughs> Turn the stones. No. <laughs> Is that challenge worth it? No, probably not. Alright, so we're at four out of five for Talia. There we go. The Emperor commands the land obeys. Kinda of feel like maybe I'll want to play the siphoning strike this turn. Yeah, I kinda of think I need to play this card this turn. Um, what are their champions? Yeah, because they could have a Zir. I can't stop a Zir. This will make Zoe a 3 3, Talia a 4 6. Ouch. What a card. Ouch. That doesn't help. Oh, man. I guess that's game. Ouch. It's like I have to go. I mean, just. Yeah, I mean, that's game. Yeah. Great fervor, great fervor. Dang. That was really impressive. I I cast so many cheap cards there. Like everything I cast was basically one, but they, you know, they still swarmed me. That was really impressive on their end. Okay, just Callista, another super aggro deck. Yeah, these aggro decks are, because I I played all sorts of things that cost hardly any mana. That was very impressive. Um, obviously the the fervor just completely wrecked me. This is an aggressive metagame here. Do I even have time for <laughs> Preservarium? Yeah, I guess so. Space is like if Spacey Sketcher blocked one of these profitably, I would have played Spacey Sketcher. Okay. Um, Equinox would be nice. I mean, the Charger... Charger just trades with this box. Yeah, actually, let's just take Charger. I was thinking, like, Equinox the Curse Keeper, but... The Charger just kind of cha trades with... Anything. Be a bad turn for me. I mean, it's only me taking seven. Can I paint you? Oh, uh, but then those things grow. Those things are gonna be four fours. Four twos. Never mind. That's not me taking seven. It's me going to seven. Yeah, these cards are good. Come on, Challenger. Ugh, need the Challenger. I really need that Challenger. I just don't have the mana to... I don't 
don't think I have the mana to play the Charger, because I, I think I need to... Yeah, these aggressive decks are... This is a really, really fast... Expansion, at least, to start with. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'm dead. You should watch this. You. Yeah, I'm, like, very dead. Man, it's not like it's not like we're not doing stuff. We were playing a ton of stuff early, but man, these things hit so hard, so fast. And these two new one drops. That card looked great, that fearsome card. And then the the game before, you know, the one mana two one that makes the other uh Sand Soldier. Okay, so not an aggro deck. So now we'll have time to you know, kind of do our stuff. No, I need, I need to keep this card Ancient Preparations. It's too good. Unlikely that they're playing Go Hard <laughs> to kill Zoe on turn one. That's pretty unlikely. We need to keep this Hourglass. <laughs> Our hand is pretty awesome. Okay, so they didn't try to... I'm just going to play this. They didn't try to Vile Feast, but I don't think I can... Yeah, like, I think this is the best play. Just play that. You can see the Nebastian border from here. Sunlight guiding, my brethren. Veil Temple is, like, my best for moving forward for, like, the rest... It's, like, it's my worst card to play this turn, but it's the best... For every subsequent subsequent turn. All right, one mana super cool star chart. Well, now we definitely know not to play the Veil Temple yet. Okay, not playing this, so I can go Veil Temple, Super Cool Star Chart, and have Hourglass available. Or, you know, whatever. Moon Silver is perfect. Moon Silver. Is Moon Silver the Hourglass? Have one mana Hourglass? I like that. Yeah, Lissandra Trundle is our opposing champs, yep. If I stumble, I have the earth to catch me. Dang, we just gained a bunch of mana there. Spell shield. Um. All right, Bowman says that's good enough. I was gonna play. I was gonna, just gonna play another Veil Temple, and uh, you know, keep my two mana. Do 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 do. Oh yeah. See, our deck can be awesome if we're not getting ran over by aggro. We can do some really cool stuff. Oh, another super aggressive Azir deck. This one, you know, with... Usually with Ionia, you'd think you'd play Zed also. They should have Sparring Student. Um, I don't know if I have time to play any of these. 
need to find some cheap cards. Yep. All right, Rock Hoppa. I'm glad they don't have the attack token turn one. Maybe they're not going to be super aggressive, maybe? They'll never see me coming. Let's play this. Nah. Should have played Rock Hopper to block the 2 1. All right, so probably discarding the Siphoning Strike. So we need to speed up. And here's where I paint my constellation. Everything's better with company. Says you. Maybe discard. Maybe I should discard this thing. Like this thing's not really looking like it's doing a whole lot for me. The world in a grain of sand. A desert to bury our food. Yeah. Closing in on the mark. These aggro decks are brutal. Crescent Strike, it, I guess it kind of would slow them down a little bit, but it, you know, like what, stunning, like just a couple of these little things, I don't know, I didn't, doesn't really like solve the, the problem of them having a bunch of stuff and me not having stuff, but it does slow them down a little bit, I guess. Um, so, I mean, I, I saved two life by blocking there, but then my trickster is dead. Each round, you've summoned three other allies, refill your spell mana, and draw one. Ancient Hourglassing it just doesn't really make any sense because it's going to come back. It'll just be a generic O1. Man, that Quicksand card is good. <sighs> yeah, that is just for the round. Okay, so Shurima is super, super aggressive. That's what we are learning today. Yeah, like they shouldn't have attacked with this 2 1. They could add another 2 1 also, like both of these, which would have then grown their Green Glade duo even more. But it's still lethal. Alright, so now it looks like same 
<laughs> same kind of thing. Yeah, these these decks look super hard to stop. I don't know. We haven't really been playing against them too much before, but now suddenly this is all we're getting paired against. Maybe I don't have time for Hourglass. Hush may help. I feel like I need to have the super cool star chart with what my hand's looking like. Alright, so... Um, model one drop aggro being a thing, you know, like, looks like People gotta start playing a lot more sweepers. Maybe we really do need that the Freljord three mana deal one to everything, you know, for three mana. My best play possible would be this next turn Siphoning Strike. It just probably won't work. Like Siphoning Strike, grow these things plus two plus two. But they, you know, they go Nocturne Fervor, we lose the game. We're probably losing this game anyway, though. Well, they... Yeah, that hits hard. Dang. Well, we played against one non-aggro deck, and we won that one, and our deck looked awesome. But then these Shurima aggro decks are brutal. Wow, we played against, you know, and just a bunch of different versions, too. It wasn't like we played against the exact same version. I guess I think the first two were. Um, but, yeah, they were really brutal. So we had to kind of go back to the drawing board. Because just spending spending mana on you know like Preservarium and Star Tip Peak and all this kind of stuff like this is just you can't you can't have like that kind of stuff uh, for these matches and so I don't know like we we played a bunch of like cheap cards and cheap blockers and everything but they are just so fast so brutal um, yeah we'd have to kind of go back to the drawing board and figure out what we want to do I mean there is a lot of like Nexus healing and stuff we could play you know we could play like Solari Sunforgers and the Fangs and like all that kind of stuff. You know, like, maybe that's what we got to have in here. Um, but, you know, like, we got to figure out what to do. Like, how do we have, like, how do we play all that kind of stuff and still have landmarks? I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, that was, that was pretty brutal right there. Um, you know, but that's, that's how it is. You know, like, we're going to be continue to learn. So I think biggest takeaway is if you're going to play some games right now, Make sure you got a really, really good plan for aggro because um, those looked, those aggro decks looked awesome. All right, but anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave those comments. Sorry we didn't get like the best games here, but that's what I want to do. I always, I always try to show you exactly what you know, like five games in uh, rank looks like with these decks, and I don't, you know, I don't go and just cherry pick, pick games. And yeah, we got ran over four times. Um, but you know, like, I'm not going to just like sit there and wait till, you know, we have like f five amazing games. We go five Oh, every single deck. No, like, so this is, this is what it can look like. This is what rank looks like. Like you get, sometimes you get steamrolled and that that's what happens sometimes. Um, our one deck, you know, our one against the Lissandra Trundle deck. Um, we got to do a lot of really cool stuff. We got to show off, you know, ancient hourglass and Talia putting in more, um, veil temples and everything. And it looked really cool, but uh, I guess you got to have a better plan for aggro. All right, but there we go. But that's it here for Zoe, Talia. Um, again, those of y'all on YouTube, leave those comments. Let me know if you got any other ideas for Talia decks, any ideas for these aggro decks, or anything like that. Love seeing those comments. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.